Hi there, this is a video to help you learn how to export a finale file into GarageBand so that uh, you can manipulate the tracks, make them sound better, mix them, add effects, and most importantly so that you can add live tracks. Um, once you know the process, it takes very little time. It saves you a lot of effort. You don't have to input all these notes again. You can just import them. Um, but there are a couple of tricky things that can trip you up, so make sure you pay attention to all the steps. Okay, so the first thing is just, um, I've just got a partial project here, but pretend it's a complete project. So once you're ready, if you haven't completed your project in Finale and you're ready to export, then you would go to the um, File menu, Save As, and this dialog box will open up. You type in the name that you want for your, your project um, here. And then you go down here, and this is the all-important thing. It's a, oh, you, oh, and you actually choose where you want it to go. So I'm going to choose um, the uh, desktop, which is right there. And then I'm going down here is the crucial thing. It says format. And if you don't do anything different, it'll just save it as another finale file. But what you want to do is check on that and choose standard MIDI file because you're going to export it as and import it as a MIDI file. So you do that, you say save, and you go with whatever the default is here because you want all instruments saved to separate tracks. You, you want that so that you have control, so you just say OK. And now it will appear on the desktop. So um, the way to find things on your desktop if you have a messy desktop like mine is you click on desktop and then you just say show the, the thing that was date added in the hot you know in priority of that so then it will appear at the top so there it is and you know it's um, a MIDI file because you see dot MID at the end okay then at this point you open up a blank garage band split and you simply click on um, the MIDI file and drag it in to the garage band file and just bring it right over to the edge there and then it imports everything. Um, now if it were that easy I almost wouldn't have to make a video but there's a couple of little things that can go wrong. Um, for for example you can see right here that the drums have somehow imported into a piano track. Uh, weird little things like that will happen so you gotta check all the um, all the instruments. So first of all let's get them in order. This is our drums we're gonna move that on the bottom. Then this is our bass we're gonna move that to here. Um, this is our melody and this is our chords. Now you can rename tracks, so you can, I'm going to rename this drums. This already says elect, muted electric bass, but just to make it easier to uh, read, I'm just going to make it bass. You just click on the, uh, you click on the, um, the words one time and then that opens it up. This is going to be melody. Okay, so now we've named everything. It's not going to sound right yet, though, because they've got the wrong sound. So what we're going to do is click on this drum thing and go down here and click on information, the I, and choose drums. And then you choose a kit. I'll choose a rock kit. You might have more kits than that. And now it will sound like drums. And you can tell by, you can do a, this is a solo, so we can just see now it sounds like drums. Uh, the bass, let's see if we like the bass sound. Okay, now that's the next thing you gotta fix. We gotta we gotta fix the range of the bass because the bass comes in at the wrong um, pitch level. So this is the other little tricky thing you gotta do. So we're gonna come back to that. Let's just see if we like our sounds first. So we'll turn that off. We're gonna see our chords. Those seem okay. You could always change it later. Right now it's like a whirl, uh, Wurlitzer. You know, you can try some different ones by clicking on different sounds. That's a more sort of dark one. So anyway, we'll leave it like that for now. And then there's the melody, and I have a feeling we're not going to like this sound. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, that came in as handbells, so let's change that to uh, something else. I guess I'm going to choose a, uh, a different electric piano sound. Yeah, we'll use that for our melody. Okay, so now everything's cool sound-wise except the bass is an octave too low, and that's what it typically does with Finale ex imports. So what you do is you select that measure, uh, that, that track rather, then you click on the little editing 
thing down here. Then you scroll until you find the MIDI notes, which will look like little, um, yeah, little, these little things. And you just click and drag over at least one of them, and then you do a Command A for, to select all of them. And now you use this little slider, and you need to go up an octave because it imported in an octave too low. And an octave is 12 half steps, so you just do the slider and set till it's to the right until it says 12 and then let go of it, and now it will be in the right octave. And that's it. Now you have imported all your notes into GarageBand. Now you can do some editing. You could go in and edit some velocities if you want to vary the velocities, make it sound more human. Um, you could um, go in and, and um, add another track, a real instrument track, um, where you now add your, your, your real instrument, either your voice or your guitar or something, and playing the melody or doing a solo or something like that. And um, you can make your project sound much better. But meanwhile, you got all your notation sorted out in Finale, which is um, really great for that. It's a great way to be working with notation and also hearing your ideas back at you as you do that. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. All right, so uh, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.